Hey guys, today we are creating my favorite Battle Pass skin in season 4. This is Chris with a tiny teddy bear inside. It has definitely been a while since I called a skin my favorite skin, but this one, the Gris skin with also the tiny teddy bear. It's like two characters in one, two skins in one. And we start with a big one with the Gris outside. He looks so slimy, I think this is the right word, and also reminded me of the Ripley skin, which I also have created. But let's take a close look. You see the slime is slightly transparent, so we switch over to the translucent clay. This is the blue, the green and the white one. It looks quite weird right now, but let's make a test. Let's put this into the oven and let's see what happens. The great thing about translucent clay, it gets slightly transparent after oven hardening. You can see this with the counter light right now. Quite beautiful, but it gets dark. It gets way more dark than the uh, unbaked clay. This is why um, the skin may appear a little bit brighter right now to you. I'd say this is the perfect beginner's skin and creation. So if you want to give it a try with clay, you see right now how easy it is. We are now working on some details like the claws on the feet, the pawns and also the arms. In the middle, we will keep the wire uncoated because this is the area where we will have the shell, this technical metallic shell, where we will include the teddy bear inside. Yeah, for the hands, I added a slightly greener version of this translucent clay, so I threw in a little bit more of the greenish translucent clay. Yeah, this is the first skin from the new season four in Fortnite. Subscribe and hit the bell to don't miss future videos of this new, brand new Fortnite season. I really would love to create another map piece because it's also been a while. But also skins. We got tons of new skins. We have the amazing Spider Gwen skin, which I also really liked. Um, but this one is probably my favorite, and why not start with this one? So let's put him into the oven. And after oven hardening, he looks like this. The color gradient looks beautiful on the hands, so slightly greener. And now I want to get some sharp edges for the belly to include this shell where the teddy bear is standing inside with his controller with the joystick. <laughs> we need silver. And I'm also throwing in a little bit of gray to make it even brighter. Yeah, defining the colors is sometimes quite difficult on the Fortnite skins because for advertisement they are using different rendering circumstances than, well, when you play the skin, when you see the gameplay, you have different lightning circumstances, environmental lights. So I'm often at this point where I have to choose. For this case, this means silver versus bright gray, so I made a mixture out of this. We make the opening hole on the back side because I also wanted to coat <sighs> this tiny shell right in the middle. This is new! We're on TikTok. <laughs> Go check me out at Clay Claim with some really funny stuff over there. And now let's cut him open. The tiny cave for the teddy bear. It would be so cool if the tiny teddy bear would do some animations when flying or when fighting or when taking a hit. But I'm not really sure about this. 
so I try to get some sharp edges, also for the details. I take a new tool <laughs> for some details. Ah, this looks so beautiful. I think it works perfectly with this metallic look. This is the connection point where technical meets this slime. And after of the hardening, we will bring in these fading and moving lines on the slime. We make a beautiful imprint for the details on the front and also on the back side. And then we have also these knobs inside the technical cave. And well, that's basically it for the shell. Let's put him into the oven. And this set is for you, one of the seven. Hey guys, you can create the foundation with the rock set on clayclaim.com. You get all the materials and even the tools optional. The metallic brush marker, all the clay colors, the wool, the wire, clayclaim.com. Go check it out. If you want to see some new, some further skins in the online store, let me know, leave it down in the comments. We are switching over to the head, to the mask of Grizz. And this is pretty simple to create. We start with this dark brown, almost black. We have the two holes for the eyes. The left one, the technical one and the right one with a patch, with the two patches as a cross. The ears are added. The mouth will be painted after often hardening to get some very accurate red lines. And now I'd like to put the mask into the oven for just a short period of time, pre-baking it, because then we can be very accurate, removing some parts of the dark brown and fill in the yellow for the mouth itself. Again, go check out, go over to TikTok, check out Clay Claim, check out what I'm publishing. It's four times a week, five times a week. Short bites of older projects, but also brand new ones, which you haven't seen on the channel yet. Oh, look at that. It looks so beautiful. Painted after oven hardening. And now gluing the mask in position. And with a white acrylic marker, we can paint these energy streams. And maybe do some retouching with the finger and now we need some acrylic paint to get the real energy juice inside slimy grass i take some yellow most of mo most of the mixture is yellow a tiny hint of green and now doodling around with a brush to create these flame like brush strokes and we find them on the claws, the hands, but also on the feet. And they are finding their way up to the arms and also legs. Maybe just a little bit more of green. Oh, this looks so cool. Now, let's create the tiny one, the teddy bear inside. The one who is controlling Gris. Or is? the tiny one actually Grizz? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you have an answer for this. So this is the tiny one. I hope to get the color right. It's this very faded dark brown. I used a lot of gray for this but also chocolate brown. And we start with the hair. So everything which has to be made in the skin tone 
and then to get an impression, to get a feeling for his face, we start with the eyes and also the iris, very tiny, tiny balls of bright brown. What is missing? The iris. And then we can start working on the snoot. The look on the face of the tiny teddy bear is almost arrogant. I try to imitate this, but make him a little bit more aggressive looking. This is the snoot. And with a scalpel we bring in some beautiful lines. Ha! And the ears make the head complete with some brown, black and white. We get the color of his shirt. And the hands holding the controller right in the middle. I was wondering from which type of console this controller really is. Looks like PlayStation, but could also be the Pro Controller from Switch. We are adding some buttons on the back side. These can be seen. And now getting the wrap around the handles. Okay, let's place him inside his tiny cave. While the tiny teddy bear is baking, we throw on some transparent polish as the last working step. Guys, this was so much fun and I guess that's it, Chris from Fortnite Season 4. I hope you enjoyed the video with Chris. Which skin would you like to see next from the new Battle Pass? We have tons of amazing new characters. Leave them down in the comments. I'm going to create them with clay. Have a beautiful weekend. Take good care. Bye. And stay creative.